These have set fruit. I've seen them set more than this, but it's still a healthy crop. You can see up in here, there's plenty of figs. You'll get a few figs to set early when the plant starts to really go into its growth mode. But uh, what you really are going to get is the fruit on all this new growth. The other fig tree that we have beside the house. The birds love this one as much as the one across the street. These make bigger figs, but the ones across the street taste more like a Fig Newton. This is a fig tree update for everybody who's having trouble with their trees uh, having freeze damage over this last cold winter. And that's all coming up from the base of the trunk from dormant buds. This one right here is coming up from the roots because all those roots have a lot of energy and since they don't have a lot of leaves at the top there's nowhere for it to go so it's awakening these dormant buds. People have, uh, I've answered this on a comment page. When this tree leaves out normally in the spring and then by June or so it's fully leafed and the first little figs you get a flush of just individual figs before you get the big fig crop. Well, as long as all those leaves are up there, these dormant buds stay dormant. Now, if there aren't a lot of leaves up there, the tree hormonally sends a chemical signal to all these dormant buds to come out of dormancy. And that's what they've done. And see them? And they started at the base. Then they got to here, then they got to there. And you can still see more of them coming out. And the object of the game is to hopefully they'll come out at the top. Now I've got to leave these leaves on here just to supply the roots with energy. So next year or the year after, I will get back into fig production. And the reason I'm doing it right now is because I got the sun behind me or over on my side and it's lighting up these leaves. Now see all the growth that started from dormant buds. If this tree had not gone through a hard winter and all that thin dead fruiting wood hadn't died, those buds would just stay there. And if the tree stayed healthy and you cut it down 10 years from now, none of those would have ever opened. But now they're opening. And what you want is like right up there, you got wood that's a little bit bigger than an inch. But see, that, that one can grow new fruiting wood. And some of those can grow branches. But down here, it's not going to be able to grow a branch. Now it'll grow, but it can't support itself off that little tip spot that it's coming out of. But right now you need the leaves to supply the roots for next year. Because if this didn't have any leaves on it, the roots would die. And then the tree would have to be cut down. But you can see the growth with the sun over here. And so you don't want to cut them down. Now a man called a uh, semi comment and he was from uh, about 20 miles west of New York City in New Jersey. Well, he's probably uh, at least a month behind us on fig trees when they would come out. And his isn't doing anything. Well, you can look at a video of mine a month ago and this wasn't doing anything. But see, we're starting to get green foliage. See way up there. See that little shoot coming out of there? That will make new fruiting wood. We might have to cut off what's above it. But that will make fruiting wood. And see the shoots coming out here? They're tiny. You can barely see them, but they're all coming out. Now, the more beneficial it will be is on the smaller wood. The only way I can guarantee you that you wouldn't get a fig off this tree anymore is to cut it off flush with the ground. And then they'll keep rooting and coming up from the roots until the roots die. But we are getting some dormant growth. And each time we come down here we see more of them. See right on that branch, that cluster of green and then go up and see that branch going off to the right. See all that little fruiting, new fruiting wood starting to form. 
Well, it would be nice if it would come all the way back up to there. But we got to get what we can get. And some of these branches might not come out. And they might not make it. Like this branch here has one little spot on it and nothing else. But that branch has got a lot of growth coming and that branch is starting to go. Now the camera wouldn't show it but there are a lot of them up there about the size of the end of my big pen coming out. And this has just been in a few weeks. Just telling you to be patient because you can see all this new green shoes coming out and uh, some of them will make branches and make fruit. A lot of these shoots that came up from the roots, I'm pretty sure they all did. Because you can, well that's a little play in that one. Usually you could snap them off when they're dead. But whether you remove this dead wood, all this, all this, whether you remove that now or you remove it in September, October, what does it matter? Why don't you just wait and see whether or not it'll come out? You can't see it probably, but there's a little shoot coming out on that branch about a foot from the larger branch. And right there, you can see one coming out. So you need to wait because these dormant buds will open and some of these are further from the roots than the others. So you just need to wait for them to come out. Right now there's almost none down low that I can show you the tiny little buds. I can uh, hold the camera still and try to zoom out so you can see that one right in the middle of the screen. See how little that thing is? Just wait for all those to come out and eventually no more will come out and you'll get all the leaves you're going to get on it and then you can cut all the dead stuff off. Now this is that fig tree on the south side of our cottage and don't worry about those green leaves up there. We haven't cut that out but that's a weed. You can see the undergrowth is coming up from the roots. This stuff was here a year ago. This was here probably two, three years. That one too. Growth starting on that. This particular branch being smaller would be more susceptible to freezing than a big branch like this that has more mass. And this is part of the two main trunks. And that one doesn't really have anything that I can see growing on it. This one is shooting out. See all these? All that energy trying to find somewhere to go. There's a little one right there. See there's one right there and then we've got some right there. And see on that branch right there is about two inches, maybe, and there's something coming out on that. But see the progression? It takes a while for all that to come up here, the dormant buds to awaken, them to sprout, and to grow, send the rest of it past it. But you can see the growth coming out on that on the bottom. Nothing out on the inch size wood yet. And that branch right there doesn't have any shoots coming out on it yet. That's a big yet. Here's another one from a couple years ago and this is one that came up many years ago. And so you got all this growth and right there is as high as I can see any growth on this particular part. And it wouldn't be the end of the world if that's the way it stopped because I could prune this off and all this would come out and make a separate little fig tree. This is something we just hadn't cut out. And see that one has growth on it. And that one has growth on it up to there. But give it time. It might. See there's another little shoot coming out under there. And if I'd already whacked that one off. I would have lost that. And you don't know how far that will go. It's just going to take time for it to awaken the dormant buds and the sap to go from the roots up to the top. It's better than it was just dead.